striking. And it looks like Dugo is going to go with the Olimar. And I'm not Three, sure how this matchup two, is for Robin, one, you know. Go. We all know that Olimar is a mid-range monster who does not want to let you get close until he, you know, actually chooses to get close. And then his boxing game is surprisingly good. But if you want to take the initiative as the opponent of Olimar, it's going to be pretty difficult. And combine that with Robin having the slowest running speed in the game. And overall, uh, a pretty lackluster ground game, you know. It's, uh, it's really the 11 aerials that make a ro uh, it dangerous to get close to Robin. I really wonder what uh, Robin's game plan ought to be versus Olimar, you know. I, um, I, I would have a hard time coming up with one right now. So usually, you know, he wants to uh, charge his projectiles and stuff like that. But... You know, everything is gonna get stopped by these Pikmin. And we all know that Olimar completely disregards smaller life forms. You know, using them as meat shields. Brutal, brutal guy is Captain Olimar. So I just, I have a hard time seeing. Right there, right there, he had a perfectly placed arc fire heading right for that big nose. But Olimar pressed side B. And then the arc fire just hit a carrot. And, and, and it did nothing. Despite all that, looks like Mad Ice King has been able to find his hits. He is in a deficit percent-wise, but... Oh, yes, that's what I was about to say. All of my very light, so he was definitely in kill percent. And the Thoron, now that I think about it, that's going to be the trump card in the matchup. Because all these projectiles are going to get stopped by the Pikmin tosses, by the Thoron smashes, by the Pikmin randomly walking back to their master. But Thoron is a projectile that cannot be stopped. It can be reflected, but it will pass through everything it hits, whether it be characters, items, uh, or Pikmin, you know? So it will hit and kill the Pikmin, but it will go through and still hit Olimar. So yeah, this, this projectile play here in this matchup for Robin is gonna be all about the Thoron. Despite that, he managed to hit an Arc Thunder. Of course, uh, has heavily, heavily reduced combat potential in this particular game. Man, Ice King taking an absolute beating from that white Pikmin. But in the meantime, he got more damage on Dugo. Oh, the taunt! The taunt and the taunt cancel. He is feeling himself because like you just saw a couple of seconds ago, he did take the second stock with the Thoron. The Thoron is amazing in this matchup. That is a game changer the way it just passes through every character. Because other charge characters like Lucario, uh, Mewtwo, and Samus, you know, if they want to use their big charge projectiles, they're just going to get nullified if they kill a Pikmin. But Ice King, on the other hand, is down smashing the yellow Pikmin as bait, and the back hit actually connected on Dugo. And the spike with the L with Mad Ice King just really living up to the first part of his name. That was absolutely bad. The key to victory lies with it. Multiple taunts. Rock solid composure, you know. So the taunt to get bodied is a well-known phenomenon because people sometimes crumble under their own pressure after they taunt and they feel like, man, I can't fuck up now. Not Mad Ice King. Mad Ice King just Thoron after Thoron, Edgeguard after Edgeguard. He was staying right on top of it. Damn. So many taunts. So many taunts. But Dugo didn't get to win the semis just because, you know. He didn't get here by accident. Yeah, he, uh, he's got the skills to pay the bills, as they used to say back in, I don't know, when rhyming was still cool. <laughs> before, before general rhymes got lame. It's all about meme culture now, but you know, you know. Like, I, I feel like that phrase, the skills to pay the bills is from the from the time when see a later alligator was still a commonly used phrase so that ought to be a long long time ago when people still considered that cool anyway uh like i said he did not get to win the semis by accident so he uh, probably still has a few tricks up his sleeve I, I yeah there it is i was about to say i think he is switching to wolf that reflector is gonna be real nice if um if Mad Ice King is uh, gonna, still going to be keen on using that Thoron. But most of all, he can actually just really, really 
uh, get close to him and ice cream, you know, crash him. Do what, um, do what he likes. And it's not like his general mid range game plan, he's just gonna get blasted for free by those morons. But he is getting blasted by a whole lot of other things. It is 10% to about 90. Because the Mad Ice King has just been finding the hits, you know, fair and square. And through regular old smash play. And uh, the the Elfoner, I think, is uh, definitely one of the that has got a little better in this game. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna beat the lady. If you do have a charge projectile, that's actually pretty good versus Blaster Heavy Wolves. Because uh, the Blaster's transcendent. So your projectiles will just pass through each other. And he's gonna do anywhere from like 12 to 7%. And if you have a, a properly mid charge forest spear uh, or an elf thunder or uh, uh, a shadow ball or charge shot, you're gonna be out trading the wolf blaster. My ice king knows this. But aside from that, you know, he's just been landing hit after hit after hit. He's been landing a ton of aerials. Hugo has been having a huge problem getting in, and my ice king is just finding setup after setup. Big hit after big hit. Just now we saw what I believe was an arc fire to four smash or something. And he might just be on his way to a three stock if he can keep this up. But here comes Dugo. I don't think he wants to let that happen. And once again, that's a trade in favor of Ice King. That's uh, what you want. And then Osferatu hitting again. That is a 10% heal. Good lord, maybe more. Maybe more. I don't, I don't even want to say for sure. Osferatu, man. Definitely one of the most demoralizing moves to get hit by. Blaster not finding his mark. There's the smash attack. He wants to end him. A lot of backups coming out from Dugo. Looking for the kill move without a doubt. Oh, and a read on the roll, man. Ice King with yet another forward smash. And that is uh, a three stock in favor of Mad Ice King. Honestly, I, I can't quite remember how many stocks uh, he lost in.